say that I head to West Point. I have a couple chores I have to do here at the house before I am ready to go. But I'm also in a time crunch, so I need to get this done as quick as I can. Um, I already have everything packed for the most part, clothing-wise, all of that stuff is packed. West Point, here we go. All right, I'm currently at Walgreens, and I'm about to go get my COVID test for the event this weekend, so here we go. All right, so I'm about an hour away from West Point. So for those of you who don't know anything about West Point or what's going on, my friend Ryan is graduating next spring. There's this fabulous thing called a ring ceremony, and then there's a banquet, and then I leave on Sunday. So I just got my West Point visitor pass, and I'm pretty excited about it because I literally be able to come and hang out until next year. So until June of next year, which is when Ryan graduates, which is pretty legit if I do say so myself. Um, all of that to be said, I am now on my way back to Connecticut to see my friends and hang out for the evening. And I've only got an hour drive, so I mean, life couldn't be better if I were two people. So this is great. Just hanging out for the day with my family friends and then I will be off to um, West Point here probably in a couple hours I'm not gonna get there until later because the parade thing tonight doesn't start till 5 so I really should probably leave here around like 3 30 to get there well probably early like 3 to get there by 4 to make sure I have plenty of time to check in and find everyone I need to find and hang out for about an hour before the show starts just left my friends in Connecticut. I've got about an hour and ten minute drive. Made it on to the place I need to go. It was very confusing, but I just followed a bunch of other cars and I figured it out. Went the wrong way one time. Figured that out. <laughs> so yeah, but I am at currently at West Point. And then these are all the shuttles that we have to get on to go to the place we're supposed to go. Again, I don't know what's happening. I'm just here. It's for fun.
So for all of you wondering why Ryan is sprinting across West Point, this is the next part of the ring ceremony, which is called the ring poop, where all of the plebes attack the firsties and say the following. What a bone ball of wrong gold! What a cool jewel you got from your school! See how it sparkles and shines? It must have cost you a fortune! May I touch it? May I touch it, please, sir? Sure! Ah! Oh my gosh, I am schwitzing. So I just went and saw the ring ceremony. It was really, really fun. Uh, cool to see all the cadets doing their thing. I'm going to the hotel now to get changed and less hot. <laughs> and then off to dinner. <laughs> Now made it to the hotel. I am munching on free trail mix and waiting for them to pick me up. And then we're gonna go to dinner somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Hello. What is my hair doing? This is what happens when I pull dry my hair, everyone. <laughs> I become Powder Puff Pamela. We already went out for breakfast a while ago, so I am just chilling. 30 for our 12:30 appointment, and I'm gonna get a pedicure. I have a total of 15 minutes to finish getting ready because they were like, oh, we're on a time crunch, we need to leave at 3. So I'm like, Ugh. okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. voiceover of me activated this is ryan and his family and i all in the car getting ready to go to west point and we're all fancied up except for ryan who we had to drop off at his barracks to get his uniform on so yeah anyways that's ryan so after dropping him off we went to eisenhower hall which is where the reception before the banquet took place this is a great place for hors d'oeuvres picture opportunities cocktails that kind of thing there was some live music lots of milling around and seeing people so it was quite an extravaganza and this is ryan and his friend brian and this is eisenhower hall after we had a plethora of people show up and then after the reception was over which was from four to five then we all started to walk over to washington hall where the actual physical banquet took place so this is washington hall this is where the banquet is sorry about the shaky camera but i was trying to be discreet as ryan was explaining to me that giant mural and then this is general daly who's a four-star general and he was talking about something to do with duty honor country and all of the west point things after the banquet then we went over here which is the firsties club which is the only place where alcohol is served on post and this is where all the firsties go so yeah And so we return triumphant from the ball. <laughs> well, I am back, ladies and gents, and I am just about ready to fall asleep. <laughs> I really did enjoy myself, and I'm excited to come back. I do have to say, it was really, really fun. I just, I enjoyed getting dressed up, and looking fancy, and, and just enjoying myself, and feeling comfortable around people, which was nice, because sometimes when you get dressed up and go to events, you don't always feel comfortable around the people you're with. And I, you know, I've known Ryan since I was like 11, so I'm very comfortable with him. And I know he doesn't have like creeper friends, so I'm pretty comfortable around them too. I had fun. It was a good night. I'm gonna hit the hay. Okay. <laughs> Today is the last day at West Point, so this morning we are going to brunch. And then after brunch, we are hanging out with some friends of Ryan's family. There we go. You will always know that the army goes rolling along. Vlogging purposes, this is Ryan. Hello, vlog family. <laughs> this is their chapel. Yeah, it's just a little. little it's just a little guy. A little one chapel. Just a little one.
is 5.26. I've got an, about an hour and a half drive until I get home. So, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun.